Once the enemy still got to have uh, gunpowder and so forth up at the gun, that is the duty of number five. He transports the ammunition from the limber, that's that two-wheel cart back there, which with the gun forms a unit which would be pulled by six horses. But he goes back, receives the ammunition, takes it up, shows it to the gunner. The gunner agrees this is what I've called for. He then takes it to number two, who takes it and loads the cannon from that pouch. You don't want him running around with it open clutch to his chest. There are sparks out there. And it sets off that, it's going to set him off, and perhaps you off with him if you're standing by him. Keep it under the protection of that leather cover. Also keeps it out of the rain. Back at the limber itself is number six. There often would be a number six and a number seven. Their duty is to prepare the ammunition as called for by the gunner. In that chest for this gun are 50 rounds of ammunition, and it's a mixture of those different types that I've shown you. Now one type that I did not show you, when the enemy closes up within 250 yards or less, it's time to defend the gun. I told you about the train. That is running on the same roadbed that was used in 1864. The first round. That's the target of the rebel guns on top of the mountain. It's what we're defending with the guns in place over here on some of these dogs. Right, once the enemy gets in 250 yard list, you have a round called canister. Looks like this. This is the canister round for this gun. It's filled with musket balls. The canister round for this gun, you can see one in the uh, visitor center, had 27 inch and a half diameter iron balls in there. It makes either one of these guns a very large shotgun. And when you open up, as this leaves, this outer casing unwrapped, and those balls scatter. You're going to take out quite a number of the enemy. The problem for us as artillerists when we're using this round is that we are now well within the effective range of the rifle muskets that the infantry are carrying. So when we put them in danger with this, we are also in danger of return fire from them. You only had probably about five rounds of this in your chest. When you start shooting this, it's really time to go somewhere else. Uh, remove that gun, get the horses out of harm's way, and get the people secondly out of harm's way. What we're going to do right now is to walk through the drill that I've talked about so that you can see what these folks are doing in their operation. Gunner, for demonstration purposes only, exercise the peace in the uh, school of the peace. Cannoneer, post. For demonstration purposes only, case shot, 500 yards. Why do you call for case shot, 500 yards, 500 on yards. the lid of the chest One is actually a shot that will show you that the gunner can use to consult. Tells him how to what to fix. Notice that number one has sponge. He's now waiting to receive the ammunition, first round. Number three is thumbing the vent. Powder charge. Projectile. Number one and number two are now outside the wheel and outside the ball of flame. Assisted in the loading. Ready! Now give them the ready. We'll first hit, punch the uh, powder bag. Then we will affix the friction primer. <laughs> Extend the lanyard. Fire! Now clear the gun. Fire! Fire! We're in no great hurry here. There's nobody shooting us in front of you. We're still to be able to load about three times a minute. You could actually get off quicker than that if you're spelling number six and number five going back and forth. Now, the, really, the pressure's there. The problem is shooting at that range. Remember I said there was 50 rounds in here. Gun's got four chests of ammunition. Two limbers, one for the caisson, one for the gun. So that's uh, 200 rounds of ammunition. You start really three rounds a minute, you don't have that many minutes of firing to accomplish. As an officer, the officer will try to control that rate of fire so that you can replenish your ammunition stores as you're firing. Sometimes you don't have that choice. What we're going to do now to finish the demonstration is a final firing. For those of you who have joined us since the first firing, 
It's when the gunner gives the command ready, that's when you're going to want to protect your ears. Gunner, may commence firing one round. Minister, load! <laughs> Off a canister, the anti personnel round. Actually, instead of a dual ram, it is a single ram. It's a fixed round, they call it. everything and you're welcome to come down and have a look at the gun. We'll be delighted to answer questions down there about particulars on the gun and the ammunition. Thank you very much for being with us this afternoon in the Vista Center. We do have a film, We've got a really good museum, We've got a shuttle bus to the mountaintop, leaves every half hour. Thank you for being